Temperature inversions are pretty common in our mountain valleys, especially in winter. They often result in gray skies and low visibility in fog or haze, but they can also have a serious impact on our physical health, reducing the quality of the air that we breathe. In an inversion, the atmosphere is turned upside down, with warmer air sitting on top of colder air at the surface, which traps pollution from cars, fireplaces, and factories. Unfortunately, that's the air we have to breathe. Much of this pollution is liquid droplets, as well as solid particles of dust and smoke. It's called particulate matter, or PM for short. But other chemical reactions in the atmosphere create additional pollutants that affect our health. The Air Quality Index, or AQI, measures the pollution level and gives us a reference for how unhealthy our air is, using a color-coded scale of air quality ranging from good to hazardous. The higher the AQI, the greater the health concern. Most of the time, the AQI is in the yellow or moderate category, which gives us a heads up that pollution levels are rising. Restrictions may then be placed on burning to reduce particulate matter. As pollution levels rise, upgraded alerts are issued using the other colors on the AQI scale. As Idaho's urban areas continue to grow, we're sure to see more incidents of poor air quality during inversions. But for now, there's good news. As spring approaches, longer days and more intense sunlight means fewer and weaker inversions as we head toward next fall and winter. Jim Duthie, Idaho's News Channel 7. Now, inversions can also affect our moods if they stick around for a while. And Larry, you're going to break mm -hmm. that down for us tomorrow. A lot of people yeah. do get sad. Seasonal affective disorder from this. Exactly. And, and because it happens in the wintertime when we already have some cases of that, or at least a lack of light because of shorter days, yeah, the inversion can really trigger that to be a lot worse. And it just looks so dark and so gray sometimes with some of that. That Yeah, we'll talk about that and things you can do uh, to kind of help get yourself through that. In the meantime,